Hello and welcome to this quick video where I'm going to show you how to draw an ellipse using a single point perspective. The first thing we need to do is to draw what they call an horizon line. An horizon line is just basically a straight line, horizontal line, it runs across the page like that. It's drawn lightly and what it depicts is the line where the sky meets the land or the sky meets the sea. If you imagine that this area here is the land or the sea and this area here is the sky. This is the horizon line. When drawing a single point perspective you need to create what they call a vanishing point which is just a dot along the straight line this is so that your uh, perspective lines can converge to that dot or from that dot if you imagine it like a railway line when you look up a railway line and you look up at, up the railway tracks you will see two railway lines going off and angles to each other are parallel they are really but because you're looking off into the distance they will look like they are meeting up far off into the distance that is the effect created by distance whereby things get smaller and smaller the further and further away that they are and so eventually the railway lines or the tracks will meet in the distance and beyond that you probably won't be able to see the railway line so imagine your railway line and you take one line from it like that from the dot from your single point perspective from your vanishing point here and then you take another line like that from the vanishing point which gives you your like kind of railway track effect where this is one line and this is the other line now you need to draw another horizontal parallel to that horizon line so draw another horizontal line like that parallel to the horizon line and another line like that parallel to the horizon line now you create this like angled box shape this is where we're going to create our ellipse within this box so now to draw an ellipse what people do is they draw straight across there like that from one corner to the other corner and straight across there from one corner to the other corner to create this like X shape from corner to corner then bring a line from the center from the vanishing point through the center of the box like that and then draw another line horizontal through the center the other way draw that horizontal with your horizon line there and now what we have is a a kind of star shape within this box this star here now create a dot there and create a dot there a dot there and a dot there at the edges of the box now along this line here from here to here just under the third from that corner create another dot and then come across here and create another dot there just under the third another dot there just under the third and another dot there just under the third now if you look at these dots you will see that they're already creating our ellipse shape so if you bring them round like that you're beginning to get the curve of your ellipse shape bring them round there like that so that they meet to the edges of the box but leave just under a third in each corner you create your basic ellipse shape it's not perfect 
I'm not trying to draw it perfect, I'm just trying to draw it quickly so that you can see what I'm doing. And just to make it more effective and to make it like more uh, realistic or more believable, then I'll just draw a line down there like that, draw another line down there like that, draw another ellipse shape there at the bottom. Weight it with by making it darker so it looks it's more prominent. Draw a shape like that up the side. Shade it in a bit there, like that. Shade in there, like that. And basically, what you've got is a cup. And all cups have this ellipse on the top and just to show you what I mean here's my cup of tea and if you turn it slightly like that to the side you will notice that this ellipse or this edge here is becoming more and more of an ellipse thank you for watching this video I hope you learned something from it I hope you can understand how to draw an ellipse using a single point perspective and goodbye